Hi, and here's a quick um, lesson on what eutrophication is. So just if you do a quick Google search for algae bloom, algal bloom, or eutrophication, you often find images um, like this that you see in the background. And it just doesn't stop. It keeps going. This spans the globe. Uh, this can be local in ponds, uh, small streams, all the way to oceans. And you can see algae blooms occurring out there in many different shapes and sizes and forms. What you tend to see is a lot of algae, the green stuff floating on top uh, of this, of these waterways, which is caused by uh, an influx of nutrients into that environment. And in this picture, you can see this is the, um, the Black Sea and Romania is off on the west, to the north would be Russia, to the south would be Turkey and Bulgaria also in the west over there. Um, this, was, this is from NASA taken in 2006 and you can see all that beautiful emerald looking color going through the sea. This is actually not a good sign. This occurred in 2006 when there was a lot of rain and a lot of uh, flooding going on in the fields. And up here in Romania, there's a lot of agriculture and over here in Bulgaria as well. And farmers traditionally around the world will use fertilizers, NPK fertilizers. Uh, the NPK stands for nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium. So those fertilizers help plants grow. They use them a lot to increase uh, leaf size, increase fruit production, et cetera, et cetera. And we spray those all over the fields in all these massive farms around the planet. Now, if the N and the P in particular, nitrogen and phosphate, if that, if those get into the waterways, um, they also feed plants. And the plants that are in these waterways in particular tend to be algae. There's a lot of algae in there, very small uh, photosynthesizing plants and a lot of submerged plants as well. Now, during a storm and flood, you get that nutrient being washed off the farms and going into the waterways. And all of a sudden the algae is very excited. It's being fed this perfect nutrient that it loves. So it eats it up, eats it up, and you get blooms of algae, which you see out here um, in the Black Sea. And you can see these in very small waterways, small rivers, all over like the images from the previous slide. The problem is, is Algae has a short life cycle um, and to a few different problems involved. As that algae dies, it starts to decay and small bacteria start to eat it up, decomposers. Decomposers need oxygen to survive. So they're eating up this decaying material and they're using all the oxygen out of the water to do that. Also, the plants, the submerged plants underneath the surface are being shaded by the algae and they're not receiving the sunlight. So they start to die and they start to decompose and those decomposers use up the oxygen again. Then you reduce, in this slide, you see DO drops, dissolved oxygen drops inside that water. The problem is, is that this dissolved oxygen is needed for uh, healthy food chains. Little fish, small fish, bigger fish, biggest fish, they all need this oxygen to filter this oxygen out of the water. So if you cut that water, uh, that oxygen out, your food chains are crashing. And if you cut it out, to far enough to an extent you'll get something called an anoxic environment where you have no oxygen in that water and you'll consider that water system dead. So that's a quick um, quick one on eutrophication, what eutrophication is. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I hope that helped.